Hi, Chris Good here with uh, another video for 3530. This one is on the Latin square. So I actually used the Latin square in a study that is written up in this paper, Estrogen Dependent Selectivity of Genomic Responses to Birdsong, that um, I published with my wife Donna Maney, who's at Emory University. And uh, this was published in the European Journal of Neuroscience in 2006. We used the Latin square because what we were doing in this study is we wanted to play back male uh, white-throated sparrow bird song to female white-throated sparrow songbirds. So uh, we wanted to see if estrogen affected the way their brains processed the auditory information that was in the uh, male bird song. So to do this, we had to play back song to live songbirds. And uh, what we did is we, you can read this in the methods section of the paper, we went to, uh, we went online and downloaded uh, recordings of male white-throated sparrow songs. And uh, you can do this too. Um, we got 14 different um, sort of sequences of songs and we wanted to play them back in different orders so that every uh, female experienced a unique order of the male um, bird song. And we did this, as it says in the method section, using the Latin square. So uh, you guys already know how to do the Latin square, and uh, I'll show you how we did it for these 14 different songs. So um, step one is to just randomize the, um, the conditions of the study. And I already did that, right? So uh, I have these 14 different songs, and they're in a random order already. That's the hardest part. Um, the next part is you follow, follow the formula for the first row of the Latin square, which goes 1, 2, n, where n is the number of conditions that you've got. We've got 14 in this case, 3, n minus 1, 4, oops, comma, asterisk, n minus 1 comes 4, and the pattern keeps repeating, n minus 2, 5, n minus 3, Six. Now, well, how do you know when to stop? Well, you stop when you get up to enough of these so that you have the number of conditions you have. We have 14, and we're not there yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need four more. So n minus four, and you just alternate. Seven, n minus five. Now, n is 14, so 14 minus five is nine. So we would do number nine. And the last one is eight. And that should do it because we've got, this is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it's all sort of shuffled together. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, 14, now we can stop. So now let's just plug our numbers in. Make sure we've got the rows going, the first row correct. 1, 2, in. Well, n is 14. 3. n minus 1 is 14 minus 1, so 13. 4. n minus 2 is 12. 5. n minus 3 is 14 minus 3 is 11. 6. n minus 4 is 10. 7. n minus 5 is 9. 8. And I'm done. That should be 14. Can we count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so for each successive row, just add one to each column until you have n rows. Now, I don't think I can do like all 14 rows because that would take a really long time, but I'll get us started. Uh, the second row, you just add one to one, which is two. Two plus one is three. This couldn't be easier. 14 plus one is 15, but we don't have 15 songs. So this is when you start over and roll it back to 1. All right, so let's add that into our instructions, right, with n plus 1 equal to 1. So 14 plus 1 is 15, right, but then you start over at 1. So 3 plus 1 is 4. The rest are pretty easy. 5, 13, 6, 12, 7, 11, 8, 10, and 9. Next row does exactly the same thing. 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, 
one plus one is two, four plus one is five, 14 plus one is 15, but we don't have 15. N plus one, 14 plus one starts over at one. Six, 14, seven, 13, eight, 12, nine, 11, and 10. Uh, I could go on and on, but basically you want to get down to 14 different rows. In fact, I have one right here. There it is. This is the completed Latin square with 14 rows and 14 columns. Two, three, four, that was a little sound effect there. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and down it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 rows, 14 columns. Each song appears in each ordinal position exactly one time. And, oh, I made a mistake there. There we go. Um, and each condition proceeds and follows every other condition the same number of times, which should be one. All right, so that is a giant 14 Latin square. Don't worry, I will not ask you to do this on the quiz. I, I might ask you to do like a Latin square of uh, you know, five or six or seven conditions, but I'll only ask you to do the first few rows. Uh, just remember that once you get enough uh, columns, the co number of columns should be equal to the number of conditions that you have, and that's when you stop using this formula. You don't ever start it over. Again, you never have more columns than you have conditions, and that is the Latin square.